Hi, friends. <laughs> so funny story. <laughs> So first of all, we're not all together this week because um, Kristen is going out of town and we kind of had a scheduling thing and we just couldn't make it work with all four. So in order to still get a video out, um, because we did do a video last week, but it's on uh, Sam Bree Stitches page. So if you have not checked that out, please go check that out because it is an amazing video of all four of us. Um, Sorry, my screen is already going crazy. Uh, <laughs> but Erica and I actually already recorded an entire video, like an hour long video. And for whatever reason, Microsoft was like, nope, not good enough. And it just deleted it. And there's no getting it back. It's gone. And it's fine. <laughs> We're moving forward. <laughs> it's fine so yeah. <laughs> I feel like you know what this is the day I've had I'm not gonna say yeah. it was a bad day but yes this happened today too <laughs> yep oh, so gosh. we'll share all of our haul and all of our kindness and all of our whips and our finishes in the next video when we're all back together but today mm -hmm. you get to enjoy the beautiful Kristen and the beautiful Jody. And you get to see us for a couple of seconds. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's okay. It happens. It's, it's going to be fine. That's the way that the world works, and that's okay. But we have so many, like, thank yous to give out and stuff that we don't want to just not say it. So we'll say it in the next video, and I'll stop going on and on. But here's Jody and Kristen, and we're going to come back on. We'll pop back on at the end and do our giveaways and all that good stuff, okay? So we'll see you guys in just a minute. It is the hot mess express over here with Jody and I. Ah, I'm glad that Aaron and Erica started this call tonight to do everything else because they're going to be much more prepared than Jody and I. But uh, welcome back to our channel. It's episode 74, like they've already probably mentioned. Um, thank you to everyone who watched our interview with Sam Bree Stitches last week with Becca. We hope that you enjoyed it. We enjoyed doing it. And congratulations to her on her continued success with her interview series because it's freaking awesome. So excited for her. All right, so we're going to jump right in because Jody and I have a limited time and we have a lot of stuff to show. So let's start talking about haul. So Jody, you want to go first? So much stuff. So much stuff. <laughs> um, so first of all, we went, this feels like forever ago because we didn't film last week. So it feels like it was forever ago. Um, Kristen and I went to see our friend Sue over at the Log House Needle Workshop, um, and she gave us all these fancy flosses mm -hmm. from Gentle Arts. So, um, and I think Kristen might have shown these. Did you? I can't remember. Anyways, I, uh, I guess sitting over here. Sue, thank you. I love you. Um, Kristen also purchased a. JBW design pattern that she's already stitched twice and then was ready to pass the pattern along. So I'll be doing this one next, which is the pineapple. I can't believe you did this twice already. <laughs> Listen, it went so fast. They're so tiny. They are, they're awesome. So I'm excited to start that. I'm gonna find some fun fabric for that. Um, all right, we got some stitchy kindness from our friend Carol. She goes, there's like four names that she goes by on Instagram. So Susie something. We love you, whatever. I messaged her because, um, well, first of all, I had to find her by one of her four names. And then I finally found her. And I messaged her because we got these, these gifts in the mail very randomly. And um, we all got one. And then she sent us an extra one that we'll likely use for a giveaway. And then she sent one for my mom. Which but, was amazing. But my mom's mind was like blown about this, the kindness of our community. Like my mom and I cried and we talked about it. And we're like, I know people are just so nice. Like yeah. I still wrap my head around it. But I wanted to show you this. God, you can show yours because I see you holding it. They are all so beautiful. Ah, I forgot. Hey, look at this little bicycle. bicycle. 
these beautiful beads with all of this like gold and silver accenting. I just like, I can't get over how freaking cute this thing is. They were all like so personalized. And so anyway, this is how mine came wrapped, first of all. Okay. I had the doggy. <laughs> I have a skull. So mind you, keep in mind when I'm opening this, I have no idea what it is. Okay. You guys. I Look love that. <laughs> the beads are blood spattered. I, I can't. Stop fucking stop. Yeah. Like I have blood spattered beads on my scissor fob. I cannot even, I still can't get over this. Like absolutely blown away. Yes. I told him he needs to sell these things on some platform or another because I will buy all of them. Correct. Um, and I love that so much, like so much. So thank you, Carol, Susie, whatever you want to go by. We love you. Um, and thank you. So, yes. so, so thoughtful. So thoughtful. Um, all right. I got my stitch con gear in. Well, one of them, because I've ordered, you know, a million things. So this is my Stitch Con hoodie. Of course I got a hoodie. It's going to be so fucking hot. And I'm going to be in a hoodie. Um, so I was excited about that. And then I got a random package in the mail with a sweet card that just said, thank you. And I was like, what did I do to warrant this thank you? Like, special gift from a special admirer. Um, from Athena Stitches, you guys know her on Instagram, so she has a shot, but this wasn't from her. She made it and sent it on behalf of somebody else who I had no idea who it was. Right. Uh, and I narrowed it down. And this is from my dear friend, Carla Rolodex Stitches, sent me this out of nowhere, um, and I'm obsessed. So it's t-shirt and it says, I stitch, therefore I stash. And then on the back, it says death before the stash. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm going to be so decked out at StitchCon. So Carla, thank you. I love you. This was totally unexpected, totally unnecessary. Um, just like random out of the blue, like kindness, stitchy kindness. I can't, yeah. I can't handle it. Um, and if you not gone to Athena's page, go check her out because she makes these and they are amazing. Yes. Um, the last thing I have is Aaron dropped off some delicious coffee for me this morning. So thank you, Aaron. And then inside of that was um, a needle minder from our friend, Brooke. Yeah. Um, Kristen, do you have yours? I do. Well, I'm using it currently. Hang on. I gotta take it off this project. Downstairs, but I really want to show it because it's so cute. Ah, look how cute that is. So thank you, Brooke. We love you so much. Yes. Um, I think that's all my haul and such a kindness. I'm exhausted. Thank you so much. Well, I um. Oh, I want to show a couple. Hang tight. Um, I've been buying a lot of finishing stuff because I've been finishing a lot of things. Shocking. And I wanted to show a couple of the wood pieces that I purchased to do some finishing on. Um, so first of all, for the pineapple pieces, I purchased on Amazon. They came as an eight pack, these cute little wooden pineapples. Yeah. So I have some of these for the girls as well, because I don't need eight of them and wanted to share the love. And I only use two. So uh, the girls will all be getting one of these and they can finish them however they want. You can spray paint it. You can paint it. You can leave it wooden. You can do whatever you want. With it. Did you, are you going to show yours? Because I want to see how you did them. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'll show that when I get to finishes, even though I don't have them FFO yet, I'll show you that with the finished stitch product. And then at Joanne's, you guys, look how cute this little whale is. I know, right? It's so thick and cute. <laughs> I I'm would upset. love that. <laughs> so I was thinking about, you know that, um, was it a Lizzie Kate that you finished that had the little whales on it? 
Yeah, there's like three or four um, teeth on it. That, yeah. This would be super, super cute. I just absolutely love it. So this was on sale at Joanne. So I got it for like $10. Then they were like killing it on the wood stuff this week when I went. And then I found this one, which I'm obsessed with. It has like this oh texture God, behind it. Yeah, kind of. And then it's a hanger and then you can easily just, uh, you could either paint this, leave it wooden, and then you can mount your finished piece um, right on there. So this was also, okay, so this one was only $15 and then it was 40% off. So super cheap. Yeah, it was like, it was like $5. I can't do percentages, so don't don't quote me on that. I don't. <laughs> Jason, Jason's always like, okay, if you want that, you have to figure out what the percentage off is. And I'm like, um, I can't, but I'm going to buy it anyway. So register tells me what it is, and then I'll just pay her. <laughs> I'm not good at math. Um, and then I also got my uh. cross. Stitch of the Earth from Emma Congdon. The um, 20, there's 20 patterns in here. And um, we have a group chat on Instagram with Matt from NBC Stitcher and then with Catherine from Paper Crane and then the four of us. And because we were doing the Autumn Town Sal, so we just kept that chat going and we bought the book. We all bought the book. And I think Matt and I, I just wanted to show you this one pattern. Guys, if you like her designs this book was so worth it it was like 21 dollars, and you get 20 of these beautiful patterns but this is the one i think that matt and i are going to be doing and what's cool is that this green is not stitched it's just all of the lighter colors that you see so you actually pick a green fabric and then stitch on it from there so i just love it so this book, you can get it on Amazon. It just released. So if you like her stuff, which who doesn't, um, grab that. All right, got that. Um, and then the rest of my stuff was all pretty much for finishing. So we'll we'll jump right into that. So Jody, do you have any finishes this week? I do. So um, I finished my giveaway from Cobweb Corner. Um, I actually stitched the one that I gave away. And, but I didn't stitch the whole pattern because you know me, I don't like to do that. <laughs> I can't like, yeah. I'm done and I'm like, I'll call it a day. Um, so I finished this one. I love it. And home sweet home board I bought in the Target dollar section. I just crossed out the home and I wrote hive, glued some little bees on there. I wish it fit a little bit better, but eh, it's okay. Whatever. It's great. Um, I loved doing it on this fabric. This is 36 count, which I was talking to Catherine the other day. She's like, 36 count linen is like, like it's hell. It's like torture. It sucks. It's so like, it's not 40, so it's not like teeny tiny, but it's like not quite 32. It's, it's like, uh, it's purgatory. It's linen purgatory and I hate it, <laughs> but I love this color. So I yeah. enjoy working on that. Um, and I don't think I've posted this one on Instagram yet. I don't know why I got caught up with my deer, but anyways, that was one of my FFOs. Um, and then I finished my Barbara Anna deer and I FFO'd him and I love him so much. I love him so much. So I just got this, um, like twig wreath at Joann's, um, and I got, flowers that mimic the flowers in his crown so pink yellow and turquoise glued them in and just put a piece of um um sticky board on the back and you can't see the back because it's really bad <laughs> <laughs> but it'll hang on the wall like this and nobody will know um and i love I, i'm obsessed so that was my other finish the other thing that I wanted to show you guys, you know from our last video, I've been playing with resin um, a lot. And so I kind of played with a couple projects. Last time we talked, um, this one was drying, but I did that one in a coaster. Um, and every time I use it, I just, 
you learn so much about it because it's finicky. Like it gets bubbles and then it gets cloudy and it's it's finicky. But anyways, I decided to take the design that I styled with Michelle Bendy and Rolodex. Um, we styled a an ink circles pattern together. Um, and I had it just kind of glued on like a wooden piece. So I peeled it off of there and I finished it with resin in this pie tin. I love it. And I just put some trim like pom-poms around it and and covered it with resin. And it's not centered perfectly because what I've learned is that things move when you pour resin. So still kind of learning the ropes there. But um, I use it, it just awesome. as a like dish on my desk and I love it I love it so much well you could use it for like little paper clips you could use it for orts you could use it for whatever yeah. you wanted I just have yeah. it on my desk and I love it speaking of orts I posted this people went crazy for it I made a little ort resin dish it's so cute um so those are my orts. I know they look awfully short for being my orts, but I had to cut them. Yeah, you can't have like full skeins of floss on there. I would only fit one ort in here. <laughs> um, so I use this. I just have it sitting next to my little workstation and I fill it up and then I empty it out. And then I um, experimented with the um, coffin mold that I had and I made a little ort coffin as well. This is where my orts will go to die. Um, so it opens up, I can fill it up with my orts and then it's got a little, Oh my God, I love it. So <laughs> yeah, I'm still experimenting with it. Um, I've been doing some stuff that's not stitchy related with it and it's, um, it's not going to be a long-term craft for me, but if I can use it well enough to do stitchy finishes, then I'm happy. That's good. So. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I mean, aside from stitchy stuff, like, what would you use it for? What have you been using it for? So, that's not stitchy I, related. Um, these little. Like, oh yes, those little cups. Yeah. Of my girls, um, and it's a it's a shot glass mold, but I've been using it for like pencils. Um, yeah. Like you could put paper clips in it. So, you know, obviously, like you can do anything with a picture in it. Um, I've made a couple like coasters and stuff with pictures, but you know, it's, I'd rather, I'd rather, like, I don't want to get into a new craft. Like if I'm going to use it, I want to use it for, um, stitchy related finishes or things. So yeah, no, I get that. It's finicky, man. It's, you know, I, a lot of people, I've watched a lot of videos on it. People have resin videos. Like we have floss tube. People do videos on resin and it's not it's not just as easy as like mix and pour like there's a lot that goes into it and like all the different things that you could add to it like glitter and beads and glass and confetti and like just color like dyes and like the way that some dyes alter the texture of it like I noticed I did a colored one and it like didn't cure the right way so oh. There's just, there's so much that goes into it. It's very involved and I just, I'm not looking for that. So yeah. I'll use it enough to kind of be good enough at it to make finishes here and there. And then I'm good with that. Yeah. I love it. So Super cute. that's it. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, finishes the pineapples. Yes. So I got, so the whole reason I got these pineapples is because like Jody showed, I finished two of these little pineapples. Look how cute. And then for my mom, she wanted it to say the welcome at the bottom. So this one is hers. And the cool thing was at the top, there's multiple colors of green that are supposed to go in the top of the pineapple in the leaf part of the pineapple. And um, I didn't really want to stitch all of that because I only was using one green and it was variegated, but still like, I just didn't want to use multiple greens. So I just did the main outline and I think it matches aesthetically to the outline of the pineapple, to the pineapple. So pattern. Yeah. Yeah. So I think. Ah, I didn't realize 
realize that. So you did that for both of them? Yeah, I did that for both. So I like that. It yeah. Does, right. It matches like this is a dense pineapple top. That's a dense pineapple top. And really the pineapple itself is not dense. So um, and I used Weeks Dye Works in squash for the yellow and then load in for the green if you like those colors. And then this is on, of course, a Jody fabric that I had in my stash that I've been dying to use. And I just absolutely love this blue. And so then I decided to get these pineapples and I ordered them off of Amazon, like I said. And so I painted the bottom yellow. Oh my God. <laughs> and then the top is gold. And then I have this super cute, gold rope that I'm going to like wrap a couple of times around the top okay and then I'm going to mount I'll cut this close and mount the pineapple on it and there you freaking go there you go super cute <laughs> that's like way better than I thought it was gonna be <laughs> uh, painting these pineapples with a paintbrush was a bitch because of these yeah. like, if you have spray paint, that would obviously work better. You could cover the top, spray paint the bottom, let it dry, cover the bottom, spray paint the top. That would probably be a lot easier than painting it by hand, um, but you could do whatever you wanted. But I really wanted it to pop, and I think with the blue and then the yellow in the background, it just looks oh. super cute. So those need to get finished and delivered to my mom and then put up in my own house. And then the other finishes that I had, this was a freebie pattern that, um, oh Christ, I'm never going to be able to remember what her name was. Um, her name was like, a, I'm going to look real quick because I, I, I want to give her credit for this, obviously. I, I know I have it saved here somewhere. But anyway, she put, she puts out these really cute um like patriotic patterns but like she'll do them for like every holiday and it's just a series of words and then little motifs and i apologize i don't know where the hell it is i don't i don't know i'll look it i'll find it but anyway these are what the patterns look like and again i did this on a jody fabric and i stitched two of them because I'm insane and I'm like, hey, my mom would really like that. And then I'm stitching it and I'm like, why do I always stitch two? But they're little. So this is what it looks like. It says stars, stripes, freedom, and fireworks. And I did it on this blue it looks fabric. Like denim. I know it looks like denim. So the way that I'm going to finish this, I already have the, um, you know, the fiber or the fabric sealer thingy on the back because I want to stuff it with and make it like a little pin cushion so I'm going to stuff it with my walnut shells and then I went to Joann's and I found this super cute patriotic fabric <laughs> for the back and then for one of them I'm going to do white pom-poms and then the other one I'm going to do red pom-poms I just love it isn't that the cutest Horrible. These took like two seconds to stitch. It, they really did. And I used a 12, which you can't really pick up on the video, but it's sparkle floss. And it was just white and red, like so easy. And then you could finish them, make them little pillows, and then you can put them out for really the entire summer. But I will get her name and have Erica post that in the description box below because I want to give her credit for that. And I don't know where it is I'm telling you this is like a shit show video today between Jody and I this was like a last minute like hey are you free I was at the gym I came home I grabbed my stuff I went upstairs I forgot half my shit downstairs and I'm too lazy to walk the whole way down there to get it so it'll wait the other finish that I had which is not an FFO yet but this is from Pigeon, Pigeon Coop Designs on Etsy and oh my god <laughs> Oh my God, this was so fun to stitch. It took me literally no time at all. Isn't the bike was so freaking cute. So freaking cute. I will tell you that the letters 
um, because there's three colors in each letter, that was kind of a pain to stitch because you were constantly like stopping, starting, stopping, starting. Um, but the bike itself was so fun to stitch. I mean, like, look at those little bicycle spokes. Look at that little chain. Look at that little I chain gear. It. I love it so much. <laughs> So I have no clue how I'm going to FFO this one. It's really not that big, but of course my dumb ass started it in the middle of this piece of fabric, which is a Jody fabric, of course, but you know, what are you going to do? So I'm really excited about this one. I was happy to have that one finished. You should get an old bike uh, chain wheel. Oh, yeah. And Jason has bought me a little wooden bicycle that I could spray paint and then kind of like add to it to like, yeah. So I got to figure that out, but I love it and it's done. So there's another finish. I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am anymore with all of these finishes. Hey, take it. You know, I'm taking it. All right, so that's all the finishes that I had for this week. So let's talk about whips, shall we? What have you been working on? All right, well, I'm not doing mania. Um, I had this grandiose plan that I was going to do a start a week, and I was like, fuck it, that's out the window. I'm going to stitch what I want when I want. Um, yep. And that's that. Yep. All y'all doing mania, more power to you. I just, I can't, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so I got a, a JBW design when we were over at the log house. It's Doggies in the Round. And I started that on 28 count linen using hand dyed pearl cotton that I dyed. Um, but it's a thinner version of pearl cotton. So it's working well in the 28 count. <gasps> I so, love it. I've got the I've got the four dogs on the bottom done. I'm debating whether I'm gonna do like all this in between stuff. Maybe I'll do it in another color. Erin suggested that. Yeah. Uh, I'm loving this. I'm I'm loving the linen and the pearl cotton. It's a fun combination to stitch with. There's something about like the texture of pearl cotton when you stitch with it that is very enjoyable. Nice. Um, all right, the other thing I started was my Season of the Stitch model stitch. Um, it's Frankenstein. Holy crap, this pattern is crazy. I love it. Um, so this is how far I am. <gasps> Holy shit. It's actually, I couldn't really tell how I can far tell. I can see, I can start to see the side of his face, his nose, like it's all coming together. I held it up and realized that I'd done quite a bit. So it's a little, um, it, it's cumbersome only because it's all gray. And um, so I, I have to just kind of keep reminding myself like, okay, I'm using the light or the dark or the middle, um, but it's so fun. Like <laughs> it's such a fun stitch um, and I, what the other thing I like about it is I've done like a realistic pattern like this before my papa corn clown um yeah. and it's still on earth this is absolutely not um and I keep looking at it and going it's so small it's only like a six by six pattern so it's not overwhelming at all um it's just a lot because it's a lot of grays so but I'm loving it I'm loving it so much um so I'm gonna hope to finish that soon and then yesterday I started this kind of out of the blue and I'm not sure if I'm done with it yet or not um I might want to fill it in but I started this guy <laughs> I, <love> this. <laughs> I, I, I could I could go either way like I oh, like the idea of filling oh. him in, but so, part of me wants to fill him in white and part of me just wants to leave him outlined I don't know I don't know. I kind of like just the outline. No. Oh, anyways, I ordered an FFO piece for it, so I'll have to decide by, by Saturday when it comes. Oh, my uh, God. So StitchCon is doing a smalls exchange. Mm -hmm. And um, I was talking to our friend Colleen, Rebel Stitcher, about the smalls exchange. And I was like, well, if I'm going to do it, like, I kind of need to start now. 
Um, and I love this so much and it's like so tiny. So I thought about maybe turning this into some type of ornament, but I think I changed my mind and I'm going to keep that um, and stitch something for the smalls exchange. I don't know what, but. I don't know either. Okay, so do you have any other whips? Uh, no, that's it. All right. I had um, my season of the stitch model stitch and I'm doing for National Call Your Doctor Day. It's probably fine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've said that multiple times. And here's where I'm at. Oh, so nice. it's really, I mean, all I have to do is the flowers left here on the bottom. There's like a couple more on each side and then it's done. So, I mean, this is not an extensive pattern whatsoever. I mean, it's really, there's four colors. Um, which is nice about her patterns. There's not like an extensive color list. She sends everything to you anyway, and you get full skeins of every single color. So it's really nice. Um, and just to reiterate with Season of the Stitch, you cannot just purchase the patterns. Um, she only sells kits at this time. And I don't believe she ships to Canada, which I would assume would be any international stitching. So it's only for our American friends if you wanted to purchase something from her. So you can check her out, follow her on Instagram, and then um, you can check her out there. Then the other thing I stitched was, um, hold on, I gotta find, what did I do? Okay, my mania plans, I talked about this before, like I'm not a huge, like I'm not really into mania this year. I wasn't gonna make a plan for anything. The only thing that I wanted to work on was my, antique bird sampler from Elizabeth's needlework design that I started two years ago in mania. And so I did. So that's what I've been working on pretty much exclusively other than finishing like these little things. And I wanted to show where I was at. So here it is. It's so beautiful. Thank you. So I pretty much only had, um, I had these words in and this bush. So when I started currently, I finished this little birdhouse, this bird, this design here, this motif, and then all of this stuff down here. Like all of this was already done. So there's really not a ton left to do. I basically just had this corner and then finishing off the border, which this is a 40 count Malo linen, so everything's being stitched one over two. So it's one strand of floss and using the DMC conversion, it really does not take that long to stitch the stuff. Um, it's going a lot faster than, than what I thought. So my plan, my goal is to have this done by the end of the month and just use this as my focus. And if I want to start new projects as they come up, I can, but like Jody said, like, I'm not really into doing a, a really strict plan for mania this year. Um, you know, we were, we were so diligent with stitching all of our stuff for um, March Madness. So after that, and then all of these styles and stuff that we've joined and doing stuff with Sally, I just like, I did not want to have a set plan for anything this month. Like, I just want to stitch what I want when I want to stitch it. So that's probably going to be my mantra for the <laughs> for the rest of the year. Um, I did finish. Oh, I did finish the. Show this real quick. The last month's made to create. So I'm all ready to go for the end of this month. Oh my god, it's going so fast. So fast. So this How month. How far, far releases are there? I think there's two more. So we obviously have the T and then the final E. Um, this month we were to do the C, which is the paint uh, canvas or like the little paint thing. And then the pin cushion, the spool of thread, and then this blue line that kind of goes along the top for the thread. So that was it for this month. So it wasn't a ton. This little paint thing was kind of a bitch to stitch because it's very full coverage. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going really fast and this will be done in no time. And then of course we have the, uh, hello sunshine Sal that starts, um, uh, the end of this month. 
I should know this stuff. I'm, we're waiting on the kit. Erin and I will do an unboxing of the kits whenever we get them so that you guys can see them. But we, her and I will be stitching them. And the, the release is only good, like the pre-order and the discount code that you can use, Kristen 10, Erin 10, or Steel 10, is only good until May 7th. And then kits will start shipping out. Um, and then after that, you can't use the discount for the full pattern, the full kit. And then the needle minder is the cutest little toucan in the entire world. I love the colors of this one. I think it's going to be awesome. I know there's a flamingo in it. It's just going to be awesome. So I'm very excited about that. So that's pretty much my plan for the rest of the month is for mania, at least, is just to stitch the made to create start the new sow and then just stitch what I want, stitch what I want. I just, I don't want to be so diligent with stuff this month. That it's a lot to like have a schedule and it's a lot of pressure. Too much, especially when we're like, you know, like we went to the log house and you know, I've been buying patterns that I shouldn't be buying, but like, if I get stuff, I want to start it, you know, I want to start it too. Like I just, I want to just, whatever brings me joy at that moment is That's what I want to stitch. So Jody and I will not be partaking in any type of like specific mania, but I know Erin is, and I know she has like a really cool plan where she's gifting away some of the things that she stitches. And if she doesn't like it, she's going to do the adopt a whip. So that's really cool. To watch. It's fun yeah. to watch. I'm happy to watch it. I, I'm yeah. excited to see what Erin gives away and what she's keeping and why. Like yeah. I, I'm excited to see all that. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't, I can't do it to myself. No, no. So, but we will, we will support everybody who does it. So that's pretty much all that we have. I mean, we'll be back next week for our regularly scheduled video. We apologize that this week was so chaotic and pieced together, um, but we do what we can. It's summer, there's kids sports, there's um school that's still going on i'm doing final so it's just it's it's hectic right now but next week we will be back to some semblance of normalcy and we'll be back to our regular video so thanks for hanging in there and hope you enjoyed it anyway <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is how jody and i operate 99 percent of the time so if it weren't for aaron and erica keeping everything like organized and under control um yeah, the, the whole thing would just be a shit show. So, but anywho, <laughs> so thanks for watching and we will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye. Hi friends. We're back. Um, the little bit you get of us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do the fun part. We're going to do the giveaways. So let's start with our giveaways from last week, which were our cobweb corner winners. So the first one, we don't have the patterns to show you. Um, but if you, I, I'm sure Jody showed her finish for this, but the Beehives Matters is the first one. And that's going to the Bookish Knitter. Yay! And then our next one is the Heart and Hand Spring Pattern. And that one's going to Michelle Brereton. I think I said that right. I hope I did, Michelle. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I didn't. <laughs> Yay, Michelle! Yay! Um, and the next one is the Moo Cow Sale, the strawberry, strawberry cow, which Erica has. There it is. It's gorgeous. That one's going to Janet Prue. Yay. Janet. So thank you guys for entering. We had a lot of entries last week. Oh, we did. So nice. Um, I, I feel like we say this all the time too, but just so everybody knows, like we read all the comments. We don't have... We don't respond to all of them, but just so you know, like, and sometimes we respond and for whatever reason, YouTube won't put it up. So just know that <laughs> we're trying. Computers, I'm telling you. Clearly, <gasps> we're the best at technology. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. Amazing. So some reminders before we get to our giveaway, please, please go check out that Sam Bree Stitches video because not only I mean we laughed we cried we had an amazing time doing it but she's amazing and her bunny behind her is amazing and the whole thing it's a, it's all a great package so please go check that out and give her a like and a subscribe and send her some love because she did great and we love doing that 
Next, Caterpillar Cross Stitch is coming out with Hello Sunshine very soon, and pre order is open now. If you want 10% off, because who doesn't want 10% off? Use the code either all caps Kristen10, all caps Aaron10, or all caps Steel10, as in Steel City Stitchers. Not I'm stealing money. I can't <laughs> think of it. Oh, I'm stealing a base. I was trying to think of something you steal. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure people do steal money, right? That's a thing. It's true. It's true. We just watched, oh, total sidetrack, but we just watched um, a heist movie from the 90s. Oh, I'm not going to know what it was, but it had Denzel Washington in it. But Jonathan was like, I can't believe you've never seen this before. And so we watched it and it was really good. So if anyone knows what movie that is. It has Denzel. It, it had cool. Denzel Washington and he was. I mean, it was like classic Denzel. Um, but anyways, that's for the full kit. 10% off the full kit. Oh, and you can also add in the adorable needle minder. And they're so cute and well done. So add that in and you get 10% off of that as well. And then we have giveaways. Yes. We have. Oh, hold on for a crinkle crinkle because <laughs> at that time we made a whole video and then I put everything back. And we put everything back. away. <laughs> okay, so this is a scissor fob. Oh my gosh. I, I can't wait to show our scissor fobs and I want you to know that we went on and on about how much we love them and how talented <laughs> she is and how personalized they are and you don't get to see any of that. So this is our from our friend Susie. I don't know if Kristen and Jody talked about that, but, but maybe Susie, they did. Susie, just so know, we loved it, and we'll talk about it in our next video. So you could win this, friends. So pretty. Isn't it's it perfect. wonderful? Oh, I love it. love it. And then our other giveaway comes courtesy of our friend Carla from Cobweb Corner. Oh. This is my pick for a giveaway this time. Country Cottage Needleworks land that I love. Can you see that? It's real cute. I love it. Those houses are so cute. I would now because when we recorded before you said that it was large, but how big is just the houses? Like how many by how many do you, would you say that is? Oh, you don't know because you don't have it open. I don't have it open. I mean, the total okay. stitch count is 112 by 112. So it's a big one. Big boy, but it's mm -hmm. very cute. Super adorable, super patriotic, super timely. I love it. Yes. So, so when we had met before, we had said our best new things and I went on and on about TV shows that I liked. <laughs> you didn't get any of that banter. You'll get it in the future. Um, <laughs> but what I asked for was like a show that you're watching or like a podcast that you're watching that you enjoy that you can share with us. So if there is a good show that you think we should be watching or podcast, please send it our way. Do not say, um, and by that I mean post it below. That's how you're you're entered to win. I should make it very clear. Do not say giveaway and do not say freebie. Or win or anything or like win. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I like to I like I like to watch shows when I'm stitching. I really don't do podcasts when I'm stitching, but I do like to watch anything and everything. That's good. The problem is it has to be that right balance. Like it can't be something that I have to actually like watch there's this show about these um it's on netflix which i erica explained to me before that she doesn't have netflix anymore but it's about these like couples that have been together for years and years and years but it's from other countries so i have to read subtitles so i'm already like oh. nope not gonna happen while i'm stitching mm -hmm. yep can't read subtitles while you're stitching the same reason that. i never watched that indian matchmaker one right right i can't i can't do subtitles while i'm stitching I you understand that kind of time. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of mental work. It so is. Like... <laughs> so anyway, send that, put that below and you're entered to win one of those two beautiful things. And I think that's all we have. I mean, we have a lot more, but mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll mm -hmm. get it in the future. <laughs> Just know we love you and we love each other and we love Kristen and sure. Joey and we can't wait mm -hmm. to all be together again. Yes. And that's all I have the energy for now. <laughs> <laughs> so late. <laughs> so late. <laughs> anyway. Oh, guys. Thanks, friends, for watching. We'll see ya. <laughs>